Endgame systems are funny to talk about during the game's first week. On one hand, players are just getting their feet wet, learning the systems, and seeing how everything shakes out. On the other hand, you want to be prepared for serious endgame hurdles right from the get-go. Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about the incredibly rare Highland Lotus, and helping you plan ahead for this crucial resource, because if you wait, you'll spend dozens of hours playing catch-up. Let's start the conversation talking about silver coins. For many of you, I'm sure you've been dropping them on the ground. I've scooped up so many just sitting there on the road, it isn't even funny. Early on with low resistance to silver, you take damage and are prevented from doing things like transforming into any of your forms, which is probably the reason why most decide to leave this precious resource behind. I'm telling you, from this point forward, start stockpiling silver, because you'll need it when you interact with a very specific trader by the name of Otter the Merchant all the way up in the Brighthaven slums in Silverlight Hills. This NPC has a whole host of items you can trade for, like flawless gems, major explosive boxes for raiding, and even cosmetic helmets. But don't get distracted here. What we're really after are the Highland Lotus Seeds. Each one costs a hefty 200 silver, but let me assure you, it is well worth every single coin, because the more you have, the more you can plant back at your castle, creating a seemingly infinite supply. This also brings me to a parallel point. If you don't have some sort of garden running within your castle grounds, you definitely should be, as it provides you with not only a regenerative supply of potion materials, but a few of the plants such as the Highland Lotus and Ghost Shrooms are essential in refining materials to endgame levels. You can see the snazzy little garden live it set up to keep harvest organized, but it doesn't need to be this complex. You just want something keeping you supplied and a safe place to put these Highland Lotus seeds as you get them. Now let's talk about a few key things before actually getting to the Brighthaven slums. If you even want to interact with a human NPC trader, especially in Brighthaven where death is looming on every street, you'll need your human disguise vampire power. You can get this in the early mid-game by heading to Dawnbreak Village in the Dunley Farmlands and eliminating Beatrice the Tailor. She's a passive V-Blood unit that constantly flees from you, attempting to draw the attention of the whole town. If you dispatch enough of the town's guards ahead of time and put pressure on her to head to the outskirts, she'll be an easy target to kill. You'll also need to contend with the debuff you get when interacting with silver. Carrying 200 silver coins will give you a minimum silver debuff of 31. With any cloak that has some sort of resistance, you're only going to get 15 silver resistance, which when you do some math, negates up to 12 stacks. This means you'll need to get your hands on some silver resist potions, which will give you an additional 50 silver resistance, allowing for up to 52 silver debuff stacks. Even without the cloak, this potion will let you resist up to 40 applications of silver exposure. In order to get this potion, you'll need to kill Raziel the Shepherd in the Dunley Monastery. However, in order to get in there, you'll need enough Holy Resistance, which means, yes, you'll need to craft a Holy Resistance potion that comes from Christina, the Sun Priestess, another Dunley Farmland V-Blood unit. Both of these fights can be rather annoying, with their constant heals and support mobs, but if you keep up the pressure and stagger them out of their heals, you should be able to get by just fine. Now, once you have your disguise ready and have drank your potion, grab your silver coins and make the dangerous trek up to the outskirts of the Brighthaven slums. Make sure your blood is full as human form will consume blood rather quickly. Don your disguise and make your way into the slums. Just watch out for any units that look blatantly holy, such as the menacing paladins, light weavers, and clerics. These can instantly spot you as a vampire and alert all the units to take you down. So yeah, this game basically has a stealth mission baked into it. Work your way through the main city gate, down the main alleyway, and hang a left at the gallows. Pass by the iron cage in between two buildings before you arrive at Otter's shop. Inside, you can make your purchases of the precious seeds and promptly get the hell out of this death trap. Back at the base, plant your Highland Lotus seeds, wait for them to grow, harvest them, and reap the rewards for your toils. Now, these don't give a lot of flowers, so make sure you're utilizing both a vegetation-based weapon like the slashers or sword, as well as a solid worker buff for that extra 30% yield. It'll make a huge difference in the long run. Once you've got your Highland Lotus, take it over to the loom, mix in some silkworms and cloth, and you've got yourself a silk production line ready for the end game. A little complex? Definitely. Worth it? Absolutely. Anyways, guys, you know we like to keep these videos nice and short, so we'll leave it there. If you have any questions about this Highland Lotus guide, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below. And as always, if you find our short and to-the-point guides helpful, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up, and consider subscribing. It's still the single best way to help channels like ours reach new audiences. 
We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great community of over 20,000 members with a special section dedicated just for V-Rising. So if you're looking to join, check out the link below. Finally, if you want to help us out even more, you can do so by becoming a member. For just a few bucks, you're helping Livid and I achieve our dreams of becoming full-time content creators. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.